Hello friends. So welcome to the last topic of module three, that is holography. It is a very short topic, and it have only two topics that comes in the exam and is important from the examination point of view. First, let us define what is holography. Holography is a method for recording and reproducing a three dimensional or three D image of object without the use of lens, but using the coherence properties of laser beams. So that is why in the syllabus holography is given just after laser because after studying the properties of laser we have to study the uses of laser and the very modern and scientific use of laser is holography. So let us now see what is this. Holography is a method for recording and reproducing a 3D image. but it doesn't use lens as i have already said before it depends on the principle of interference of an object with a reference wave of highly coherent in nature so in holography both the phase and intensity that is amplitude of the light waves are recorded on a film and when the photograph is viewed it shows a 3d image of the object such a photograph is called a hologram so the process is holography and the result is known as hologram so now we will be explaining briefly the theory of holography this is a schematic diagram a very small diagram of the working of the holography process so when a light beam that is plane waves from a coherent source illuminates this small object a part of the incident beam that is the part of a plane waves is scattered by the small object and produces spherical waves the rest of the incident beams that is the reference beams directly reaches at a photographic plate that is at this photographic plate in this way the reference beam and the spherical waves of the object beam reach at the photographic plate and interfere that we have already studied before the process of interference to find the resultant intensity at o that is at this point i have marked as o on the photographic plate we consider the resultant field at the point o the resultant field at o is so let me write that the resultant field at o is e equal to er plus es where er is the reference beam and es is the scattered beam the reference beam is a plane wave so we can write er is equal to E R O e to the power i into k z minus omega t, where z equal to p n. That is equal to perpendicular distance of the object p from plate in the scattered field es both amplitude and phase vary with position so in es amplitude and phase vary with position thus the scattered field can be given by es that is equal to eso by r into e to the power i kr minus omega t where r equal to po 
So the total intensity at the point O on the hologram plate is given by therefore the total intensity at O will be given by I that is equal to modulus of ER plus ES whole square that is equal to ER plus ES into ER plus ES star this is the complex conjugate of this value so this is equal to ER into ER star that is conjugate plus ER into ES conjugate plus ES into ER conjugate plus ES into ES conjugate so that is equal to ERO giving the modulus or square plus ERO into ESO conjugate by R into e to the power i a into z minus r plus e s o into e r o conjugate by r into e to the power i k r minus z plus e s o giving a modulus whole square by r square that will be equal to ERO whole square plus ESO whole square by R plus ERO into ESO conjugate by R into e to the power I K Z minus R plus ESO into ERO conjugate by R into e to the power I K R minus Z. Now combining the last two terms of the above equation we can write I equal to ERO whole square plus ESO whole square by R square plus F by R cos of K into R minus Z plus phi where F and phi are two constants. This equation implies that intensity is a function of cosine term. That you can see here intensity is a function of cosine term it implies that total intensity i passes through a series of maxima and minima due to its dependence on the cosine term so it will depend on the value of cosine term for being a maxima and minima now if we assume the plate response varies with intensity i the power transmission coefficient of the plate can be written as the power transmission coefficient of the plate can be written as tp square equal to 1 minus beta i where beta is also a constant now since beta i is very very less than 1 we can approximate the equation as tp similar to 1 minus half beta i so when the recorded hologram is illuminated by the reference beam the field of transition transmitted wave e is equal to I'm writing down the result of it 
वन माइनस बीटा बाई टू इंटू ई आर ओ होल स्कोर माइनस बीटा बाई टू इंटू ई एस ओ होल स्कोर बाई आर स्कोर इंटू ई आर ओ ई टू दि पावर आई ए जेड माइनस ओमेगा टी माइनस बीटा बाई टू आर इंटू ई एस ओ इंटू ई आर ओ होल स्कोर ई टू दि पावर आई के जेड माइनस ओमेगा टी माइनस बीटा बाई टू आर इंटू ई आर ओ होल स्कोर इंटू ई एस ओ ई टू दि पावर आई टू के जेड माइनस के आर माइनस ओमेगा टी तो दिस विल बी द रिजल्ट इक्वेशन हेर वी कैन सी द फर्स्ट टर्म ऑफ द इक्वेशन रिप्रेजेंट्स अ प्लेन वेव लाइक द इंसिडेंट with some attenuation part as its amplitude changed by blackening of the plate when it passes through the plate the second part of the equation that is this part indicates a divergent spherical wave identical with that emitted by the object except the constant factor that is the constant factor present in this part of the equation so this is a very small representation of the reconstruction of image of a small point object by hologram process so now coming to the last part of the chapter the applications of hologram what are the applications of hologram hologram can store the information in 3d number 2 the information on a hologram can be decoded so a hologram is a reliable medium of data storage last one is the application to 3d cinema that is in holographic motion picture so that's all for this chapter and that's all for this module also thank you meet you in the next module